Hello again. Come on in. Can you believe it's July already? Whew. This is going fast. The months are just flying by. Soon it'll be, you know what? Christmas. But tomorrow is going to be a special day too. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But today we have a new memory verse. And this story this week is about how Jesus can teach us to choose kindness. So let's look at our board and see what our memory verse is for this month. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Okay, it doesn't say Jesus said. It said Jesus answered. So that means somebody asked him the question, what is the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. Did I get it right? Let's check and see. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Okay, did you see the motions? Jesus is answering. So he's saying, Jesus answered. And then we point up, Jesus. Okay, uh, and he said, I am. And then we're walking because Jesus walked everywhere to tell the people. So Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. You got it? Good. Now our story today is about kindness. And it talks about a man who was very, very, very kind. And we're going to learn more about that as we go to the clubhouse and see what Ollie and the gang has for us today. See you when you get back. It 
is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Zoe. Check out this awesome banner my friends and I are making. See? It says, kind is cool. And all my friends already put their handprints on it. We got this idea from a rock we found hidden at the beach. Someone painted hands with a heart for showing kindness. Once we hang up this banner, it'll remind us to be kind too. Now I gotta put some paint on my hand. Now I'm gonna put my hand on the banner. Just right. There are so many ways we can use our hands to be kind. We could use our hands to clap for our friends. We can use our hands to hug. We can use our hands to help. I wonder where we should hang our banner. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Making a fun banner, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, we're making a banner with our hands. Then we'll remember to use our hands to be kind. Kindness is so important. It's true. We can choose to be kind to everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I'm delivering today's mail. And look, this is a get well card. This is so kind. And kindness is what today's story is about. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Our true story from the Bible is about a man walking on a road on his way to the city of Jericho. He was just walking down the road until all of a sudden, two men hurt the man and took his money. He had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Oh, look, here comes someone. Let's ask him to help. Everyone on the count of three yell, please help. One, two, Three, please help. But he didn't stop to help. He just walked on by the hurt man. That's not kind. Here comes another man. Let's ask him to help. Ready? One, two, three, please help. But he didn't stop either. He just walked on by the hurt man. That's not kind. Then a third man came by. Uh-oh, he's a Samaritan. He's not going to help. The Samaritan people and the hurt man's people are not friends. There's no way the Samaritan will be kind and help the hurt man. But look, he's stopping. He's showing kindness and giving the hurt man bandages. Now the Samaritan is being kind and putting the hurt man on the donkey and taking him to a place to stay until he's all better. Wow, the Samaritan man was so kind. And do you know what? Jesus can help us choose to be kind too. When someone is hurt, 
we can choose to be kind and help them. When someone is sad, we can choose to be kind and give them a hug or cheer them up with kind words. Jesus will help us choose kindness. Jesus can help us do everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. The Samaritan chose to be kind to the hurt man. We can choose to be kind to everyone, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the Samaritan chose to be kind to the hurt man. Jesus can help me choose to be kind to everyone. Kindness can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Kind is cool. This looks so awesome. You know what? Instead of putting up our banner inside the clubhouse, I'm gonna put it up outside so everyone can see it. I'll see you next time. Bye! Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Welcome back. Can you tell me where the story came from? The true story? That's right. Out of our book of truth, the Holy Bible. And the story was about a man. It wasn't his name. It was the type of people, his group of people. Like we are uh, Christians and we come from Ohio he was a good man and he came from where? And what was his title? That's right. I'm so proud of you. The Good Samaritan. Look. The Good Samaritan from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. And the story teaches us Jesus can help me choose kindness. What did we learn last month? Jesus can help me do everything, right? And we learned about love, joy, peace, and patience. Well, this week we're going to add kindness. Who helps you to learn kindness? Jesus helps you to learn kindness. That is correct. He is able to teach us everything if we will listen you have to listen to jesus when he talks to you and he will talk to you in a small voice so you have to be quiet and pay attention okay now let's play a game you know you recognize these i hope stop signs well not stop signs stop lights Okay, and this one is red and yellow, and this one is green and yellow. What does red mean? That's right, stop. And what does the yellow mean? It means to slow down and think about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you can't go running through the stop sign 
the stoplight and not get hurt, okay? And what does the green mean? That's right, it means go. And yellow's there too to tell you, wait just a little bit, it'll turn green in just a minute, and it does. Okay, so now I want everybody to stand up. We learned a great new song this week from the uh, clubhouse, and we'll be practicing that all month. And your memory verse. We're gonna practice the memory verse all month so that you can get that right. So, now then, We've got two signs here, stop and go. Stop and think about what you're doing. You've thought about it, you can go, all right? So now the trick is, I'm gonna, when I say go, I want you to, if you're standing, if you're not standing, stand up. Stand up and when I say go and I put up the green, I want you to start walking. You can walk around your room. You can just stand there and walk in front of the TV like I'm doing. But you just keep walking till you see the red light come on. The red light's on, so what do you do now? That's right. You stop and you listen to what I have to say, okay? So, let's start it. Everybody stopped. Everybody's standing up straight, right? Okay, and you're waiting for the light to turn green. Start walking. Everybody start walking. Okay, you better start slowing down as you get closer to the uh, signal light because it's going to turn red. All right, it's red. Now, the reason for this game is to think about what you're doing. So, you've stopped now. And I'm going to ask you a question. If you see a stray dog on the road or somebody walking a dog and it's on a leash, should you run up and touch it and start petting it and get in its face? Or should you stop and think about what you're doing and ask permission first so that you don't get hurt and the dog doesn't get hurt? Which one would you choose? Go ahead and run up to a strange dog or stop and think about it and think about what you should do. That's right, you should stop and ask the owner, may I pet your dog? And if it's a stray dog, you should always go and ask mom and dad, there's a stray dog, can you help me see about it? Don't ever approach a stray animal of any kind. Squirrels, skunks, oh, especially skunks, uh, anything, because it could be dangerous because they are afraid of humans and they their only defense is to fight, okay? All right, so you've stopped, go. So we're walking again. And we're looking at all the beautiful trees and we're thinking about what we're going to be doing at home. <gasps> we see some kids fighting. <gasps> oh, they're big kids. They're bullies. Should we run and help whoever they're bullying or should we stop and go tell parents? Think about it. Should we go and get in the mix? Or should we stop and go tell someone older what to do? What we should do. You're right again. You should stop. You should never run into a group that's misbehaving or bullying. At school, you know the type. They always have to be a bully and try to hurt somebody else. But you should stop, think, and go tell an adult. There's trouble. Come and help. Right? Very good. Go. Let's walk some more. Ooh, it's getting hot. We're going to have to go inside in a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Stop. Look what I found. I found a toy on the ground. I don't see anybody around. 
I want that toy. Let me think about this. Should I pick it up and run home and pretend like it's mine? Or should I go give it to an adult and say where you found it so we can find out who it, this real owner is? Stop and think. That's right. You should go pick it up, take it to an adult, and say where you found it. And let's see if we can find the owner. Because the owner might have lost it and they're crying because they wanted the toy too. And once you return it, they'll probably want to share it with you and play. Right? Okay. We're walking again. Okay. Oh, it's hot. I got to go home and get a drink of water. So, stop and turn around and let's head to the house. Okay. So, go. We're walking. We're at home now. We're getting a drink of water. Mom's in the laundry room and dad's at work and the kids are outside playing and ooh, mama just made some new cookies. I sure would like to have one of those cookies. Hmm. So should I go get one of those cookies without asking? Or should I stop? And think about it. Mama worked hard to make those cookies. I don't know if they've been made for somebody else or if they're for church or if they're for after supper. Hmm, what should I do? Should I go ahead and grab one and go hide someplace and eat it? Or should I stop and ask mom if I could try one for her? Right again. You should always ask before you take anything from the kitchen anywhere. Always ask an adult. If it's food, it may not be good for you. If it like if you're out walking and it's berries or nuts that you found, don't ever eat anything without asking mom's permission because some berries are very dangerous to humans, okay? Animals can eat them maybe, but not adults. So always ask first. Okay, let's walk back to the room and sit down there. You guys are so smart. You did such a good job. And there are so many ways to show kindness. Not just by sharing, but by doing the right thing. That's kindness to everyone. Now, in the story, the Samaritan was the good guy. The man was, the other man was walking to town and some bullies came up and knocked him down, beat him up, took his things and left him there, not even caring whether he was sick or not. And then people walked by him and walked around him. You've seen people in town do that. They'll see someone that is sitting on the side of the road that looks lost or something and they just walk around them and keep their cell phone on and just keep walking and ignore them and then you see someone walk up to him and say can i help you that's a good samaritan and that's what jesus wants us to be good samaritans he wants us to help everyone we see not just our friends and not just uh ones older than us but he wants us to help everyone because everyone is God's child, right? Even if they don't know it yet, they are God's child. And by us being kind to them, it may show them that there are kind people in the world and they will want to find out more about this Jesus that we love. Okay? All right. So let's do our memory verse one more time before we go. Okay, it's new this month, so let's see if Granny can get it. <sighs> Jesus answered, I am the truth and the life and the way. Luke, no, not Luke, that was the story. 
John, John, 14, 6. Let me check. Did I do it right? Let's check. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. <gasps> Yay! Granny got it! Okay, key question. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That has been the truth the whole way we've been studying. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. He will never leave you. If you give your heart to him, he is with you forever. Even with you, when you disagree with him, he'll be right there by you to help you see the right way. Okay? <sighs> it's been a good week. Oh, wait just a minute. Remember I told you that there was something special happening this week? Well, it's tomorrow. And I'm sure you all have been hearing the fireworks already, right? And see my earrings? The first time I haven't worn sheep, I'm wearing the flag. And I made this in vacation Bible school one year. It's the flag. So tomorrow when you're out at the parades or on your family's picnic, or if you're walking in town and you see a soldier, be sure to be kind and thank him for his service. Thank him for the years he gave to go overseas and leave his family and fight the bad guys for us so that we could be at home enjoying life free and safe, right? I know your, some of your dads have been in the war or in the war and your grandpas and I don't want to forget the women. There are women that have served also. So if you meet somebody that you know has been in the service or they're in uniform, be sure to tell them how much you appreciate what they've done for you. Because because of them, we are free to study our Bible and learn about God. Other countries are not so fortunate. So let's give thanks and be kind this week. Okay? Now, the most important part of our lesson each week is our prayer time. So everybody gather around, sit down, fold your hands, bow your head, and close your eyes. This is our time with God. And if you have something to say to him, this is the time to say it. This is your time to talk to him, and I will talk to him as well on behalf of all of us. So, here we go. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us choose kindness. Please help us look for ways to choose kindness with everyone. You are the best God and we love you. We love you very much. In Jesus' name, amen. Go be kind. See you next week.